Matthew 24, 3 through 14, Jesus is talking about the signs of the end of the age. And after describing deception and wars and famines and earthquakes and tribulation and hatred, he says, but he who endures to the end will be saved. What is Jesus saying here? What does he mean by that? See, the meaning of a verse can change radically based on our understanding of the words. We also must take into consideration the context. And again, the context is the description of the Great Tribulation. Now, perhaps he was talking about the destruction of the temple in Jerusalem, and that was devastating and it was a great tribulation for the early church. Maybe he was talking about what we would consider to be the end times. Maybe what we're living in right now, or maybe what might become at some point in the future. Maybe his statement applies to both and every other tribulation in between. Jesus says, he who endures to the end will be saved. Does that mean that we're going to be tested and only the strong who endure can enter into heaven and receive their reward? Many seem to apply the verse that way. But salvation is much more than that. It includes our eternal destination, for sure. But it also applies to having life in the here and now. Jesus is talking about our current salvation, not just our future destination. So Jesus is not giving us a conditional statement. Rather, he's giving us a promise. This is the same thing that happens in the book of Revelations. Jesus isn't saying that only a few, those who hold on and endure and can stand and pass the test of time, will receive a reward. He's not saying that only those will be granted life with the Father. No, he's encouraging his disciples and us, telling us that no matter what we face in this life, if we don't give up, we will see his salvation. See, we will see his deliverance. We will see his restoration. We will experience wholeness. We are not victorious because we don't face any battles. We are victorious because no matter what comes our way, we can still have joy, we can still have peace, we can still have a sense of wellness, we can still have a sense of well-being. Nothing can hurt us. We are invincible if we constantly come to Him and find our wholeness in Him so that circumstances don't dictate our state of being. But our presence in Him and His presence in us is what tells us that we are saved, we are whole, we have abundant life so we can live above, above our circumstances and that is real life let's pray father thank you for holy spirit our comforter and i thank you for giving us strength beyond our own thank you for the grace to endure that no matter what we face we can experience your salvation help us to endure today help us to be strong Help us to live in your peace and your joy and the fullness of life, the fullness of salvation that you've already provided for us. In Jesus' name, amen.